family in Washington State still shaken up after a semi truck came crashing into their house. After the crash, however, it was discovered the semi didn't have a driver. Homeowner Karen Cooper was at home at the time of the crash with her five grandchildren. She was concerned about the driver, not knowing yet that no one was driving. I was worried about the driver. I thought he was dead because I couldn't see him. And then these construction workers came running down the street and said, there's no driver, there's no driver. Amazingly, no one was hurt. Investigators are looking to see if the accident was caused by human error or mechanical failure. Good things come to those who wait, right? Well, now for people using Uber, it's true. Reports say the ride sharing service has started testing a feature to give customers the option to get a cheaper price if they don't mind waiting a little while to be picked up. It's currently being tested with employees in San Francisco and L.A. Well, yeah, this is just awesome. It was the bowling alley concert of a lifetime last night as New Jersey's Asbury Lanes was reopened. You can imagine who did this. Uh, performing a few songs was New Jersey's own Bruce Springsteen. He was joined by a local New Jersey band and they performed five songs together. About 300 residents of Asbury Park were given free tickets to the event. Can you imagine? <laughs> Asbury Lanes is a combination bowling alley, bar, and live music venue on New Jersey's Atlantic Coast. It's probably awesome. Probably the Asbury Jukes playing with them there. And who else would you expect? Maybe Bob Seger would do something like that. But a guy who sings My Hometown, of course, that's something he would do, right? Yeah. Perfect.